AT&T is proud to be a longtime member of the ITUG. In addition to providing a powerful platform for capacity building, the ITUD also provides a neutral forum for industry, governments, and other stakeholders to network, collaborate, and help shape frameworks to advance connectivity and digital inclusion across the globe. Another example is the value that we see in the industry advisory group on development issues, which further supports meaningful engagement with private sector leaders from around the world to identify telecom and ICUD related development priorities and challenges and promotes best practices with national regulators and policymakers. These conversations have taken on even greater urgency during COVID-19 and the ITUD has done a commendable job facilitating platforms for discussion as well as documenting, evaluating, and consolidating policy innovations and industry actions in response to the crisis. We look forward to continue to support the ITUD and working with all stakeholders to achieve our shared telecom and ICD development goals. Industry engagement and collaboration is a key element in creating an impactful roadmap to advance ICD development. For example, the private sector has been making significant contributions through a range of groundbreaking initiatives and public-private partnerships focused on key issues, including bridging the digital divide, expanding access to educational opportunities, and promoting girls and women in STEM all shared goals of both the ITUD and AT&T and myself personally. However, to fully meet these objectives, it's essential to have in place enabling policy environments that promote innovation and support investment in infrastructure and technology. To that end, I'd underscore the role of industry as a partner in policy development. Our engagement has helped demonstrate that including the private sector and multi-stakeholder policy discussions enables the exchange of views, perspectives, and lessons learned as regulators and policymakers consider the most effective approaches to advance development in their respective countries and regions. I also like to reiterate the important role of ITUD and how they play in convening those discussions and advancing capacity building opportunities and specifically thank Director Bogdan Martin for her commitment to promoting greater industry engagement in the work of the development sector. <music>